Hello, friends. Don here. Welcome. Now let's uh, start, and I'm going to register first here with fake filler because I run the artisan migrate fresh, and also yeah, we need to run. Let's open the VS Code first, and run the npm run dev. So npm run dev in here, and now we are okay. If I refresh, we have pause. We have this link, and if I go there, we are navigate the post create, but we have the same page. We just because I just copy the post index to the post create. Now let's work with that and add a form, and then let's create a post, and then display that post in the post index page. Okay. So for that, let's open the VS Code and. Uh, Let's open first the create page, which we have right here. Okay, we have a table which I'm going to remove. And also we don't need the link and also this one. I'll just leave it like this. Or remove everything. Here we have now only the pause or post create like this. Now if I save and navigate to post create, the title post create, but also let's change the title here, the post create and this to post create. I think we are okay now. Yeah, post create here and post create on the title. Now what I want to do, I'm going to open the login inside the out and just copy here the form. Okay, I'm going to select the form. Yeah, and copy this and paste it inside the div. I'm going to add the div or a section, let's say. Let's say section. And inside this section, I'm going to paste now the form. And we need to import some components. First, the label component. So let's import the label from the components UI label. Okay. Then the input from the same components UI. The input error. Now here we have errors, but we're going to fix them. We don't need this. We need only the label here, which I'm going to leave. And also, we don't need this on here. The button is going to say store or create what you like. We need to import the button. Oh, sorry. Import the button from the components UI. We don't need the checkbox. So we have only one input and the button. Also remove this. Okay, so here is the form. And let me just zoom it out for you. Here is the form. Indent a little bit. With div, another div here. And we pass here the label and the input. Now let's change the label because we are going to work with pause. So the label is going to be for this one title. And also here, let's change that the title. Now we remove the to complete and all of them leave only the required. And placeholder is going to be first post. Also here the errors is going to be for the title. We import also this component from the lucid react and we are good let's open again the login and now let's copy this submit and also the us form paste it here and one more thing just to save some time i'm going to copy not only the type here which we are going to create or type for not login form but for the post 
form. And the post form is going to have the title, it's going to have the content, and uh, it's going to have also the image. Now the image is going to be a type file or initially not like this and now here we're going to use the post form okay also we need to import the use form from the inertia js react pass here the title to be empty string also the content and here the remember is going to be the image and the image initially is going to be null. Let's see up here, let's remove everything here. Also the link, let's remove, we don't need right now. And I think here we are okay. Let's import the form event handler and change the post to be To the route we're going to create that route post store okay let's remove also this and yeah i think we are good now here let's change that and also the down there to title okay i got now we need another uh, component, so let's copy this one and paste it right here. This one is going to be for the image. And change this. The image now type is going to be file, not image. The type file doesn't accept the value, so let's remove that and also here add the image now because we work with here we have installed the shatsian ui let's open the shatsian ui here and i'm going to find the text area for the content so here we have a text area just say npx shatsian latest at text area let's open the terminal paste that in hit enter and now we are okay so then we need to import the text area so let's come up here and import the text area and use it which i'm going to use let's just copy this yeah let's use it right here it's going to be the content content and instead of the input, we're going to say text area. Yeah, I think we are okay here. Content. Yeah, change also this to be a content. Okay, now just here on the image, we need also to add on change event. But instead of saying set data, so like this, I'm going to create a constant and say handle file change okay the event is react change event html input element and here we say if const file event target files zero and if we have a file we have to say set data now let's use on the image right here so handle file change and i think we are okay why we have this underline error here we need to say content and i think we are good let's see on the browser if i open yeah let me just uh, scroll down we have a section and let's give it the class name. So I'm going to say class name to be 
max width of uh, MD MX Auto and uh, I'm going to say padding of 4, add the BG, not white. I'm going to say gray 100 and rounded large, but on dark, I'm going to change the BG to be gray 800. And I think we are okay, yeah. It's going to look like this, maybe 900. Now it's more okay. We have a title, choose the image and the content. And right now we don't have this post store, the route post store. So let's create that. First, let's open the terminal and let's create here. Let me zoom it. Let's create here PHP artisan make controller. Post store controller, which is going to be invocable. Okay, we are good. Now let's open the VS Code and open that post store controller. I'm going to create a data variable which is going to be equal with dollar sign request validate the title content and the image. Okay, we are good here for now. Then I'm going to say uh, dollar sign data, not user ID, just the slug. And here I'm going to check if the request has file, say data image to be request file image. We can leave it like this or we can use the storage facade. So use the storage facade and say disk public put post request file image. So it's going to put in the post directory if we have the image and then we have to say request user post create pass into data and return to post index. I think we are good. Thank you AI for that. And now let's open the web routes and register. So here route post post controller And yeah, we can leave it like this, but because this is only for this one, I think we are okay like this. Good, we registered that one. And now let's try, let's open the browser. I'm going to refresh. And also let's open the table plus. And inside the post, we don't have any posts right now, I think. Yeah, I cannot zoom it this anyway. Let's use a fake filler. Choose an image. I have this image here, which I'm going to choose. And now let's see. Let's say store. We redirect back to post index, which is good. And let me just see here. Yeah, we have a post. Okay, let's see also if we have uploaded the image, which means in the storage app public post we have that post here very good now let's display that post in the post index so inside the post we have the index.ts here we're going to receive because if i open the post index controller we return the inertia render with post index passing the post and just we say post all here but right now it's okay so Let's say uh, interface post, and here it's going to say ID, title, content, image, created out, and so on. But let's remove the created out. Then we're going to receive post, which is going to be type of post array. Very good. Then, yeah, first let me just uh, indent this like this and next i'm going to change that a list of your recent posts then here i would display the id next is going to be the title and also the i'm going to change that to be thumbnail here is going to be the 
image and here is going to be the actions so the edit and delete buttons now let's copy this table around or cut this and then make a post map paste that in and close post map pass in a post here now we have to display the post id here we have to display the post title here the image and here is going to be the edit and delete buttons but post image is not going to be like this it's going to be an image with a source post image alt post title and i think very good rounded full now let's see on the browser how it looks yeah here we have let me just zoom it we have the id the title the image which is rounded and the edit and delete let's go and create another one let's choose the same image and just see store and yeah we react we have another one let's go and create another one let's say store and we have validation okay friends that's it all about this video what i wanted to show you how we can uh, store a new post with a file upload and also if we store that correctly we can display in here now that's it all about this video if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best